Hey y'all, today I'm doing a little hair trial. I have my second dress fitting for my wedding dress and I wanna do like a kind of a mock look. So the look that I'm going for is kind of a, a wand curl. Like I've been saying that I wanted to do wand curls, but I also wanna straighten my hair just like in real time, like I just want straight hair. So I'm just gonna try the look on straight hair and see if I want to do straight hair for my wedding. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with the natural look or the straight look and then there's all this commentary about straight hair for special occasions at the end of the day i'm gonna do what i want we, the look that i really want to do you know i blow my hair out with my revlon one step one and a half inch barrel blow dryer that was a lot i think it's one and a half inches barrel and it gets my hair super straight the roots get straight and i used the silk elements mega silk heat protectant that I always use. And I've been working out so the roots sweated out and I had to kind of like go over it again a couple hours ago. But this is just what it looks like. For the look that I imagine, I don't want my hair like silky straight. I actually want texture to show through. So I don't mind having like a more puffy look cause that's kind of what I want to go for. I still want my hair to be like full and voluminous. Almost like this. I could almost do it on blow dried hair just because how straight the blow dryer the round brush blow dryer gets my hair but like I said this is a trial so we're just gonna see so now I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of this bio silk to straighten my hair I'm gonna be using my Duval straightener this was sent to me a couple years ago and I actually I like really love it they gave me a discount code and it was like 70% off and anytime I straighten my hair with this I always leave it in the description box so if it's still working I will have the code and the link to this. It's a really good uh, flat iron. It's a, uh, what do they call these plates? Not ceramic, titanium plates. And I have all the other products that I use as well in the description box. So I'm just gonna section my hair off. I actually don't know if I wanna do a side or middle part yet, so I'm not even going to pay attention to that. And matter of fact, I'm just gonna pull all of my hair up cause I need to be quick with this and section off a back part. These are my favorite kind of clips. These are, I don't know what they call them, alligator clips maybe, but these are like the best clips for natural hair and I always use them um, when I do my hair and in my videos. They have them at the beauty supply, but I'll link some down below as well. And I also have a rat tail comb and my pattern beauty detangling brush. I'm hoping I don't have to trim my hair, but I know I will. So I'm just gonna comb my hair out and pull it taut and flat iron it. It's gonna be like, I'm gonna do the tension method with my fingers and the comb. And I have my flat iron on 410 and I'm gonna do one pass. Or should I put it on 360? Nah, if I'm gonna straighten it, I'm gonna straighten it. So this is on 410. Yeah, I'm gonna have to trim my hair so badly. Also, I cut my hair when it was like blow dried, so I know this cut is like choppy. I actually don't know if I'm if I'm actually gonna do my own hair or not. I've been trying to figure out what tasks what tasks I actually want to delegate. At my core, I am a do it all like do it all myself type of person. But as I'm getting closer and closer, I'm like I probably and this is a problem that I have like wanting to do everything by myself. As I'm getting closer, I'm like I probably should find something to delegate at least one thing like because i'm going to be needing to do like all the prep stuff my hair my eyebrows my lashes my nails my toes like i can't do all of that i'm thinking i'm definitely going to delegate um my manicure and pedicure obviously right like because i do because i'm a nail tech i'm like i should do my own nails like wouldn't that be so fun and you know like doing your own wedding nails but if i do want to do my nails and all of that, then I probably should not do my hair. Like, I just need to pick which one I really wanna do and stuff because it's, I think when it gets down to it, I'm going to be stressed if I don't, so. Cause as of right now, I like, I'm already starting to get like a little worried that I'm gonna have too much to do. So I'm gonna definitely figure that out over the next couple of weeks. Also, I haven't really styled my hair like a whole bunch since I cut it. Um, like I never did like a permat set on it or anything, but I'm excited to see like, it's been a couple months now, so it's a little grown out, but I wanna see like what it's looking like.
It's also getting chilly outside and feeling more like fall time here in Texas. It always like takes until October. So it's also silk press season and I always participate. I love switching up my hair. I actually like was, when I did my hair this time, I was actually pretty frustrated while doing it. I know mean, you were like not supposed to do your hair angry, but I've been having so many problems with detang, like just it taking forever for the detangling. And I'm pretty sure it's because of my ends for some reason, even though I feel like I have trimmed them, but there's nothing like trimming your ends on straight hair, honestly. And I haven't done that since the beginning of this year. When was that? Like January, I think. So technically I've trimmed it, but not a good one. So it's overdue and I think after this my hair should be like a little bit better and I don't know if it's actually longer or I'm just like growing less patient to do my hair like I just kind of want it to be a quick thing yeah I don't know if y'all can see these ends but they will be cut to that point that I was just making I was like so frustrated doing it and I was like I'm straightening my hair this winter like just keeping it straight this cold season right now like I just need like a small break and I've said that I wanted to become like a straight natural so many times and I just don't because I love everything about my natural hair like I don't just like yeah it's a hassle sometimes but I wouldn't want to give up the versatility just to make it like easier i think the fact that i can straighten it and then i can wear it in like a fro i think is what i truly like even though i get frustrated with it sometimes so it's i'm all talk i'm all talk um i'll just um not feel so guilty about straightening my hair more often like when i feel like i want to straighten it like i sh i should just do it like instead of feeling like oh no i just did it like a couple months ago or i think that will help like just doing the hairstyles that i wanted as long as i'm doing my best to like you know keep it healthy and stuff but i should allow myself to straighten it if i want to straighten it and then not if i don't you know and not make it such a big deal look how uneven this is <laughs> what okay we're looking good we're looking good i do want to try those color wow products i believe it's called i think that'll be really good for me because i like to wear my hair blow dried and stuff like that and not frizzing out it might work just in general like if you have problems with not even just with your straight hair but your natural hair cells frizzing out i don't know i haven't looked into it that much so i don't know exactly how to use the products but i definitely want to try them all right so i'm gonna finish up the back of my head and catch back up with y'all when I make it to the front. <sighs> That's de definitely not the middle. All right, so now I'm getting ready to trim it. Let's see how much damage I've done. Is it even even? Okay, it looks like it's just like one part here. Okay, it's not that bad. It actually is uneven. It actually is. Now, should I just do another ponytail cut? I really should not be playing with my hair like this when I have such an important occasion coming up, but. Let's see if that did something. I wanna say that evened out the back. Okay, I need to concentrate, so let me just get this even and then we can get to curling because I don't have time to play. Do we like a little bit more even now? Front pieces is still a little bit longer. That's closer. And I think that's gonna be for today. I do not want to ruin my hair. Okay, top. That's pretty even. Also, like, is it? It's as even as I can get it. Yes. Yes. 
All right, let me clean up this hair real quick and then we're going to curl it. Oh my God. I'm trying to see what I got this thing heating up. It doesn't have anything to like, okay. Okay, it's one. So this is probably like a one inch curling iron. So I'm just gonna do like some waves. And I don't know if I'm gonna execute that today, but I'm gonna put some kind of curl in it. And I'm not gonna worry about it like holding too much cause I'm probably gonna do something tonight to like uh, make the curls last. I'm probably gonna try out the little things just to see if they work. finished look I have more of a curl than this kind of wave I mean I think it might turn into that I'm not exactly sure my hair looks gorgeous like like this is what I've always wanted my hair to look like like I used to wear clip-ins and sew-ins in high school in this exact hairstyle and I wanted my hair to look like this hopefully I'm working with something today this is how it looks. Here's the big reveal. And here's the front. This is nice. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.